morning everybody if you can hear me over the wind noise we are being impacted by uh, a tropical cyclone at the moment it's going to be crossing the coast supposedly in a couple of days but uh, it's been downgraded to a category two they were thinking it was going to be a category five it went up to a category four but as it's coming closer to the coast it's reduced so people will be very happy about that one He's looking for hair, traces of hair in that paddock. They've got the tractor out, so uh, I'll tell you they get ready to uh, do some lawn mowing. Shops here don't open till nine. Um, post office opens at eight. Uh, they're one of the early ones. That's because it's a uh, news agent, news agent slash bank slash post office. So they do open a little bit early because they have to sort the mail out people coming in at night so they do that um, the problem is with the mail with the post it's hit and miss when they're actually open yeah, there's only one full time person there and it all depends on whether they have uh, are able to round up any casuals to help them out because they won't open with just one person. So if the casual employee that's booked on doesn't turn up, that's it, it they don't open. Which is fair enough because you're dealing with, as I say, it's, a, it's a, also a bank. Uh, so you're dealing with cash and all that sort of stuff. So you want the safety. You don't want to be working there on your own. That's the convenience of a uh, of a little post office. It's not a big one; it's just a little post office. So it's uh, what they call a licensed post office. So basically, what it is is that uh, Aussie Post will provide the PO the, the PO boxes, the lock boxes. So they'll put, install those and provide them. And uh, all, the, every, all the management and everything else is done by the news agent. So the staffing is all provided by the news agent. And what it is is that they get a, a fee from the government for running the post office. Very similar to the UK. Well, I don't know about England, but definitely Scotland. Scotland, most post offices. 
uh, actually run by uh, shopkeepers, corner stores. So when I paid my rego, I used to just go to the, uh, I think it was a news agent that I went to. Yeah, just paid it, news agent. The car registrations and licenses and all that sort of stuff. Well, I'll leave you to it, everybody. Have a fantastic day. That's enough of my, my waffling. Catch you later.